My name is Samuel Tala and I'm a storyteller. But I love music. See, ever since I was a baby in my mother's lap, I couldn't sleep unless she sang a lullaby. In primary, we danced to Lingala. And in secondary, we break dance to hip hop. Now I just sit and, you know, listen to some Afro soul. Bob Marley once said, when music hits you, you feel no pain. So this is the kind of music that we listen to in our radios and we watch in our televisions. However, there is a type of music whose beat is louder than the tom tom drums of West Africa, but it will never come across your eardrums. There is a kind of music that when it hits you, you will feel pain in your head, shoulders, knees and toes. There is a kind of music that will take you to places where words cannot go. It will take your feet to hills and valleys, homes and hospitals. It will take you to mortuaries and graveyards where kids who we expect to rest in peace are laid. These kids did not leave to see their first birthday. They did not leave to see their first day at school. They didn't even leave to see how it feels like on their first kiss. Yet, we expect them to live in peace. And our leaders, our politicians, they are restless for power. See, we do not need leaders who are pregnant with political ideas. We need leaders who are pregnant with maternal health care ideas. We do not need tears when our mothers or sisters, our daughters are giving birth. If we must have tears, then let them be tears of joy. For God and the fruit of the womb. Oh.